As always, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Moncton Wildcast, Instagram, Wildcast Podcast, TikTok, Wildcast Podcast, which was fun. A um, little different adventure. May try that a couple more times um, and then bring people on as we get going. But it was a little fun adventure. So if you join me live, thank you. Appreciate that. Game wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but hey, that's uh, that's what you get. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe on the YouTube. Click the little bell so you're notified so you don't miss a podcast post game. I might take a little heat for saying this, but at this point, those are, with the exception of Mueller and a couple other guys, uh, Lotion, Carrier, and Dinoyer seem to be the only forwards who actually give a shit right now. Yep. Um, and I think you have to reward the players who are showing that they want to win and that they they want to be there. Mm-hmm. It's to the point where, God forbid, I never thought I'd bring up his name, but Darren Rumble. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. I was a huge critic of Darren Rubble, but one thing he did, and albeit he did it, he only he said he was going to do it, but only did it for a couple of games. He held players accountable for their play, and if you didn't play how Darren Rubble wanted you to play one game, you were either down in the lineup or you were in the stands. Right, and I think you've because. What you and I have been talking about for a couple of weeks now yeah. that I think a lot of people want to see done yeah. is probably not going to happen if it hasn't been done already. No, no. Uh, and, and if Brent DeBorn Brent DeBorn says it's not the, 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 the staff's fault, it's the player's fault, then start holding no the players accountable. He says it's no one's fault. He says it's no one's fault. It's somebody's fault. Yeah. There's 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 something going on where, you know, um, uh, this is a perfect opportunity. Give me one second here. Um, uh, take me back to December um, <laughs> when um, you know when everything was 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 fire. Yeah. Right. Everything was was clicking. Everything was perfect. We had no complaints. We were this close to to Halifax, and now it's like we probably wouldn't even catch them. No, no God no. So something happened from the Christmas break. To now, which is the same thing that happened last year, yeah. the same kind of second half collapse that we saw last year. And so if it's the responsibility is not going to be on the coaching staff, then it's going to be on the players, right? So if that's the case, start having the players hold the players accountable. The players need to be responsible for their actions off the on the ice. And if you're going to be the wildcat of the week by the team, but yet you're also turning the puck over two or three times in the same game, resulting in a goal, you need to be held accountable for that. How can you still, how can you not be going to a bottom pair or sitting a game? Because we have Ryan Hackett, who's fully capable of playing, who has junior A experience. He's not some... You know, 16-year-old that's sitting in the stands eating popcorn. He has three years of junior A experience. And every time he's been on the ice, I'm not noticing him. Yeah, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, there's been a couple of hiccups, but that happens. But when you're one defenseman, two defensemen, you're making the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over again. It's either on you or it's on the coaching staff. And the coaching staff's not going to fix it. Because if the coaching fa- staff was going to fix it, it wouldn't be happening. Yeah. So you need to maybe start looking at the, like the players holding them to accountable. Follow us on social media at Moncton Wildcast.